Oh, good morning, everybody. It's a morning for me. Hop in. So you guys smashed it. Smashed that like button in that last video. Oh, M3. Yeah, you nutters smashed that like button in that last video. If you could do that again on this one, that'd be much oh, appreciate oh, did. Also, in this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's not forget that. But I'm also going to be running a little sticker competition. Because I'm back as the only guy in 621 again. It means I'm hands on doing everything again. And I forgot how annoying stickers were to make. I thought, why don't I give away a couple to you? So I'm going to let two people that comment on this video just randomly win stickers via the random comment generator. So leave comments down below about the video that you're about to see. That would be amazing. And please make sure you subscribe. Right. I'm gonna go to work. We've got some bits to do today. Later on, we are collecting that BMW. Oh, things are good. <laughs> I'm updating the wall of virginity. So, I just wanna show you where we're at. Over here, look. My wall of virginity, by the way. I call it the wall of virginity because it's just loads of toys and I'm an old man now. The shop is kind of non-existent now. It's kind of sad, like, all the memories I had in here. But we're going to try and turn this more into a merch shop. I say we. I'm going to try and turn this into more of a merch shop where people can come and buy stickers and clothing and stuff eventually. On that, I have ordered a new top today. A new style completely that's never been done before. And I'm going to reorder a batch that was my favourite ones that we did with like the 621 there with the big 621 across the back. I'm probably going to do them in black and white and white and black or something. We're going to just uh, keep it simple on those. But yeah, it should be cool. But yeah, the wall of virginity is going up. I'll show you once I put the last few of the new ones down just now. I love these little CRXs. They're so sick. On that note... Will Penny has just bought one of these, so we'll go up and have a look at that very soon too. We've got, the, uh, we've got more of the cars up, the wall of virginity is expanding now. Actually, I've never actually paid more than retail for any of these, right? Except for this one, because I had to get the new McLaren Senna, and uh, I couldn't find one anywhere, so I'm really glad I managed to get hold of one. Super pumped on that. We've got the oil slick vinyl in. I get to choose the old sticker. So just to clear this up, because I get a couple of confused comments on Facebook, Instagram, and on here, the Patreons get exclusive access to stuff like the K20 series, free stickers and stuff, because they actually pay for that privilege. Uh, I get a lot of people just, well not a lot, that's wrong, uh, I get a couple of people just messaging me going, just put the video straight on YouTube. Well, they will go on YouTube, like I said, but they will go on there once the car is finished. So that way you get a full series, you don't have to wait for extra updates, the car will be done. This way, the guys that want to be a part of like a little side family outside of YouTube where we get to interact a bit more, you get updates on basically everything first. But you don't have to join, it's nothing, it's not like a set thing, but it's just like a little extra thing for anybody out there that really enjoys what I do. That's all, just to clear that up. It's almost home time, I actually can't wait to get home today because tonight we're picking up the BMW. Also, young Will Penny's Take You A Rad has just turned up, so I'm gonna probably try and drop that to him tonight. If we have time, just I don't know, I might see if he'll come pick it up from us, but otherwise I'll take it up there tomorrow. So that is good. Also, if you need any more parts for your cars, hit me up. Uh, sales at 621 or the Facebook page or the Instagram, whatever works. Not my personal one, do it on the 621 account. So I don't forget. That'd be great. <laughs> Peter? Hello? It's coming with me. Because this is happening. Oh, this is happening. Trailer's on. We've got new straps in there as well, boy. Oh, yeah. yeah, but... We're gonna need to take a battery and a couple of little tools just to see if we can start it. Um, and we also need to take the jack and the dollies just in case we can't start it. You really think an E30? E21. <laughs> right, the boot is loaded. So one way or another, this car is getting on this trailer. I hope the battery just kind of ma magically makes it work. That'd be like super sick. WD-40 Yeah, like yeah, yeah, in here mate, but I can't show the peeps, innit? Patreon car. Right, Peter, are you ready to go? At P with yeah. What do you reckon? It's a shed. It's a shed, but I love it. We're gonna call it, well, I'm gonna call it a name. It's called Rusty. <laughs> Meet Rusty, Pete. <laughs> Little old Rusty boy. I got my keys yesterday, so I stoked on that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I've just pulled the carpet back. We're playing with Oh boys. my god. She's probably never gonna go on the road again, but she'll make a good garage ornament. <laughs> Where is the lever? Right, the old but looks brand new battery is coming off. 
to put the one from the Civic on. See if she starts, because I believe. We've got lights. And then. It would literally be a sick car it if it wasn't car. if it wasn't so rusty. <laughs> Bright lines are probably. Wow, this bit's not good. <laughs> Bright lines are probably. But well, I might be able to sort this out, man. Helen's going on a deep sea dive. <laughs> it's alright, mate. They'll, they'll come loose by the time you're done. Yeah, it's rusty, but it doesn't matter. Should be a good old girl. Right, the old girl is loaded. Well, I say girl, I've called it rusty because of obvious reasons over here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get it home, get it off, get the uh, get it parked up somewhere that keeps it out of the way, I guess. Because I don't, like I said, I don't really want to get rid of it. I know everyone's panicking about how to get the number plate off, but just leave that to me. That's no one's worry apart from my own. I actually love it. What a cool little car. Super cool. I'll see if I can. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, there we go. There it is. I don't think it's that bad. You thought that Civic was bad. <laughs> that, mate, this is not as bad as that Civic. Look inside. It's not as bad as the Civic. That is stronger metal than oh, that Civic had. Here, look. It's peeling apart. Someone sealed it up. We'll <laughs> deal with this another day, man. Should we get this bad boy off and have a little look around it? Because those nosy neighbours were a bit nosy. And one of them broke it. One of them broke it already. He yanked the, the friggin' this glove thing box. and broke it. This thing, it's a glove box. Glove box handle, man. I'm, I'm gutted. <laughs> this poor old car got it manhandled by the nosy neighbor. But anyway, let's get her off. My little beast, oh, my Rusty. Welcome home, Rusty. Started first time, boy. But it does sound like it might be blown a little bit under there. Oh, it's a bit rusty. Literally, when you did it, it just goes. <laughs> How did it go? <laughs> Should we have a look around it? We haven't actually properly looked around the car, have we? Should we have a look around? Reverse it around a little bit. Reverse it back a little bit. We'll have a proper look around the old girl. <laughs> so, old Rusty is home, and <laughs> I can't. Be I can't believe it lit the rear tires up. So good. <laughs> The car has obviously been sat for quite some time. All you little eagle-eyed MOT snoopers will have seen when it was last MOT, so I won't bother looking. Myself, I'm sure someone's going to tell me in the comments, and also leave the list of everything wrong with it. But don't worry about the number plate. Even if I can't get it off until it's got an MOT on it, legitimately, I think the main problem with the car is obviously the seal on that side that's gone, but that rust is not as bad as the MX-5 was. There's some rust up there that looks pretty bad. There's some rust up here <laughs> that looks pretty bad. <laughs> rust down here, which is the one I took apart. But honestly, okay, the main thing for me, obviously, is to try and get this number plate off. Yeah, don't worry about it. Leave it to me. We'll, uh, we'll look after it and we'll sort something out. We need to have a proper look around it at some point, but like I keep saying, hidden cart is in that garage right now. So that is a slight issue. Which means we're going to have to tuck it up somewhere, just out of the way. I guess we'll put it over in the corner, just so it's out of the way. It is a 320. Pop the, uh, pop the hood. Pete, I want to see what actual engine it is. So she opens up like that. It's a little bit leaky. Is it a six pot? It's a six pot! Yeah, this is a six pot, boy! So this is a 320 six pot. That's awesome. Wow! This car's so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. We're going to get acquainted with old Rusty over here. Before you start panicking stuff, 
and you see this absolutely terrible car, just bear in mind, like, I did buy the MX-5. I know that video, that series didn't get many views, but that was bad as well. Like, this is definitely worse, like, the rust around the top. This is definitely worse, but I want to play around with welding on a car. And now, if I can get this number plate off, it means that I've got a, va a valuable car that owes me nothing. It's not valuable in this state, but I can practice welding and on something I actually want to keep. So, we'll see what happens. Unless anybody wants to buy it off me and offers me something worth taking, I'm obviously not going to take nothing for it, even though, really, it owes me nothing now. But, that's not how the world works, boys. That's not how the world works. So Tom Peck's arrived. Pecker, what's up? What do you want to see? Every I mean... Those, what those, is that you've just found? They're, they're old school, they are. Oh. oh. <laughs> Do it, full beam? Full beam? <laughs> Wrong side. Wrong side. Other side. Yeah. Left. Yeah, the other side. Yeah. It works. What about washer jets? They work! Oh my god! That's sick! <laughs> Brake, left, right, reverse. No reverse. No reverse lights. I actually think we can do it. And, and look at the rust yet. Yeah. Okay, there's some really bad ones today. So I need doing. But I don't see it like. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect, does it? It just needs nah. to be. Safe enough here for an MOT, which I think I could do that. Look, I did catch my gloves on it, but <laughs> but you can get whole replacement yeah. panels for like 13 pounds of these. This I'll be honest. This so. bit up here, under here is, is rusty. Oh really? And this bit here is rusty, but I don't know if anybody's MOT test right there, would that be a problem? I don't think it would be, mate. It's a wicked little car. We called it Rusty. That's now the car's <laughs> name. It's called Rusty, and I feel like this could be really fun once the, the K20 project's done. Yeah. This might not ever reach YouTube yet, but I think we'll take it easy on it again, like we are with the, the car. I mean, it is still. smoky. Maybe pop the bonnet. <laughs> uh, it probably might, might even be like stuff like that, look. Just drive, just go. Are we gonna, get, are we gonna jet wash it quick? No, not today. That, no? That's a whole video, I say. <laughs> <laughs> the tires are so sticky there. They're grabbing stones so bad. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Old turd cars. I don't think a Lamborghini would give me this much happiness. No, nah, mate, no. Stupid no. things giving me right now. <clears throat> this is sick, man. This is sick. <laughs> don't. Okay, now we've got in the boot. Peck worked out how to do it. Um, it's obviously had some rust repair before down here on these wheel wells uh it, it isn't great but at least it's been done before so i can kind of like gauge how they did it because this side is bad over here especially uh this doesn't look great uh, down there's been fiberglass by the looks of it and this side up here up there might need a little bit of attention but like i said what do you expect what i paid for it man i think it's brilliant and like <laughs> It's just so quirky. It comes with some free stuff. I'm throwing a few bits away as well because I just don't want to like take the piss out out of the old gent that I obviously have uh, I got the car off of because of the situation. But yeah, I'm it's a very happy boy. A very happy boy right now. Um, I like all this sort of stuff. I feel like I'm a bit of a hoarder really. I quite like all this junk. But uh, I mean, there's nothing a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of sheet metal won't fix the end of this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys like old rusty i am a big fan i don't know if we'll end up keeping it or not we'll have a look at it later down the line but yeah me and peck are now gonna go drop this uh, ek boot off to pete's and then i'm gonna get some food and go home so yeah hope you enjoyed guys please make sure you subscribed and uh leave us a little comment down below i will pick sticker winners in the next video so make sure you tune back in winners. i want to be a sticker winner you are not winning nothing i want to be a sticker winner it's locked <laughs> see you later guys Peace. Mm-hmm.